is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Tapex Ears, back on Mike for the Commentary, bringing you another tips and tricks video. A little class setup, not really class setup, but kind of pretty much shedding the light on a new god tier rig that not a lot of people that, you know, I see that actually are pretty good at the game are using. A lot of people like to use the Synaptic Combat Rig now uh, just because of Rewind and Propulsion. That is a good rig, but honestly, I think... FTL with phase shift and perception is actually the new pretty much meta for pubs at least. This rig is absolutely insane. What you can do with phase shift and what you can do with perception is absolutely incredible. You can pretty much be a constant playmaker throughout the entire map and throughout the entire match. And what I mean by like being a constant playmaker is by having pretty much phase shift, you can kind of flank the enemies. So if you see like five or six people in front of you, Activate that phase shift, get behind them, get the easy kills. It's honestly so effective to just continuously just phase shifting out the map when you get into situations that, you know, are not really good. And if you didn't have it, you would have died. I can't tell you how many times uh, this gameplay that having phase shift and perception, you know, saved me on my deatomizer strike streak. So that's kind of like why the gameplay is a little bit longer. I think that having like a slightly longer than usual uh, deatomizer strike for these tips and trick videos are kind of more beneficial to the, uh, the people who are watching because usually the people who you know are searching up you know how to get better infinite warfare or how to get deatomizer strikes aren't typically the best players so showing like a fast nuke really won't do them justice so i think maybe like a four or five minute you know deatomizer strike on like a bigger map uh where there's a lot you know more spots that you can pretty much flank the enemies on is a little bit better and showcases pretty much how good the rig actually is as you can see there like the the perception trick, it pretty much slashes your screen red when enemies are looking at you. So you pretty much have, you know, an additional awareness. So if you don't really know, you know, where enemies are, but if your screen starts to flash red, it pretty much alerts you that, you know, someone's in your area and they're pretty much targeting you. So you need to find cover or pretty much, you know, go get them and kill them. So it's kind of really helpful running FTL um, phase shift. Like I said, being a constant playmaker, I can't tell you how many times, not even in this gameplay, but playing the game, in general, having phase shift is so helpful. Uh, just being able to pretty much shift out the map and pretty much get in the positions that you know you wouldn't be able to get into without having phase shift is so so helpful. Um, a lot of my gameplays that you're going to be seeing coming on my channel are going to be actually using the FTL phase shift uh, rig. Pretty much, you can see right there, uh, phase shift pretty much saved me. I think there's a kid running at me with a knife, and if I didn't have you know phase shift and perception, I would have been dead. So it's honestly so helpful. Um, definitely, guys, give this rig a try if you guys have not used it yet. I know a lot of you guys love Synaptic Rewind Propulsion. That is good, but, you know, just try this out. It's honestly, it is kind of game-breaking technically, especially if there's a lot of players using it. Then you're going to pretty much be killing, like, half the enemy team outside of the map, which is kind of funny. But for the most part, if not that many, like, good players are actually running FTL now, so definitely using the phase shift and perception to your advantage is a good idea. You'll, you'll find yourself getting a lot more deatomizer strikes, you know, getting streaks a lot more consistently. Uh, you'll be staying alive a lot longer. And I just feel that this rig is really, really underrated, especially for good players. Uh, most of the time, like I said, they're using, you know, synaptic. So if you see someone like synaptic, you know, FTL, not FTL jumping, like propulsion jump shotting, uh, definitely having phase shift and FTL. Uh, will definitely be uh, really really good and beneficial to your game so i hope you guys you know take this tip use it to your advantage before you know a lot more people start running phase shift uh, because right now like pretty much when i'm playing i'm pretty much like the only ftl player in the entire lobby so it's pretty much just easy nukes especially if the players that you're playing against aren't really that good so pretty much always just stick to the outskirts of the maps when you're using you know perception uh you have a little bit more freedom just because it does let you know if people are looking at you but just having pretty much you know your back to the outskirts it lets you know that if anybody's targeting you you know they're in front of you or like on the side of you but they're never coming up behind you which is really really helpful especially when you're running perception so like i said definitely give this rig a try i definitely think it does deserve a little bit more use um, i honestly believe that they actually might buff uh, the, the phase shift rig they might make it so you can get it a little bit faster and tdm you get the phase shift really really fast you actually get it in the same speed as you get rewind now just because rewind actually got nerfed so it's like 90 seconds to get it so it is pretty good um it is really reliable i definitely think that 
if you guys really start using phase shift, you'll see a lot more success in your game. Because let's be honest with you, if you're like some people who don't have scuff controllers and don't have, you know, the ability to be jump shotting a lot or aren't really that used to stick and move, aren't really going to be liking, you know, synaptic just because it really doesn't fit their play style just because they're not really that airborne. But definitely if you, you know, play prefer to play, you know, stuck on the ground. FTL is definitely one of the best rigs in the game, if not one of the best rigs next to Merc. But honestly, since they did nerf the kinetic armor in this game, definitely having phase shift with perception will definitely, I believe, it'll give you a slight more and better advantage in your game. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of tips and tricks video. I'm going to get the nuke right here. Um, definitely a good rig to try out. Um, I don't know what, what any other better way to you know pretty much showcase how good it is uh, besides getting a deatomizer strike gameplay. So like I said, Hope you guys go ahead and use FTL and Phase Shift. It's definitely a good rig, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.